Have you ever played Hearts of Iron 4? Last video I did was on why Hearts of Iron 4 starts in 1936, but today we want to delve into why Hearts of Iron 4 ends in 1949. Paradox games always have an end and start date, especially in Crusader Kings 3, where it ends in 1444 because of the fall of Byzantium. In another Paradox game, Europa Universalis IV, it also ends in 1821, with the end of the Napoleonic era. The end of Hearts of Iron IV is a little different though, since we are able to play on after 1949, if you so desire. But today, we want to ask the question, why Paradox have decided to add 1949 as the end of Hearts of Iron IV? Perhaps you also have wondered why it does end in 1949 as well. We also want to find out what makes Hearts of Iron IV such a short game, and could there potentially be any more end dates for Hearts of Iron 4? Or is 1949 the perfect end date for it? And a good point between World War II and the Cold War. So, make sure you have a tea and enjoy the video. So, let's ask the main question. Why 1949? Since the game is obviously based on World War II, you'd think the end date would be tied in with a historically significant end date of a Japanese surrender on the 2nd of September 1945. However, Paradox have decided not to end the game at this point, and instead the score screen is shown to you in 1949. I think the reason the developers have done this is because, firstly, if you're still in an intense war, imagine if the game ends as you're about to take Berlin or London. You'd certainly be annoyed with the game, and so for you to have a better game experience, the game shouldn't instantly end on that date, which it actually doesn't in 1949, and it waits for all the wars to finish up until it shows you the end screen. You could also argue that the game would simply be too short, going from 1936 to 1945, and the game needs to be a bit longer, given how short the game is already. It's only 13 years long, which is tiny in comparison to EE4's 377-year-long time period, and CK3 has over 500 years of gameplay. Even when you consider one turn in Hearts of Iron 4 is one hour, and one turn in EE4 is one day, Hearts of Iron 4 is still a much shorter game. This brings us again to the point that Paradox wanted to extend Hearts of Iron 4 as much as possible in order for campaigns to not be too quick, where players don't really see the world develop into a fascinating way, a reason why people enjoy Paradox games as a whole. So besides making the game longer and not ending the game at a crucial point, are there any historical reasons as to why Paradox decided to end Hearts of Iron 4 in 1949? In terms of a progression of international relations and politics, 1949 was a crucial year for it. The first Soviet atomic bomb was detonated on August 29th, 1949. This is years ahead of what Americans thought would be possible for the Soviets, and therefore Truman reacted by requesting an intensive re-evaluation of America's Cold War policies by the National Security Council, which is obviously a progression of the Cold War, and further moves away from the era of the Second World War. A few other important political events also occurred in this year, such as the signing of the NATO Treaty, the establishment of the Federal Republic of Germany, and finally, the establishment of the People's Republic of China, also contributing to the progression of international politics. Could you therefore argue Paradox chose this year because of all the major events to do with the Cold War? Let me know what you think in the comments. So now we've discussed why 1949 was chosen, are there any other specific start dates Paradox can choose? There is the historical end date of World War II, with either the German or Japanese surrender. But these are a bit too short, which we've already discussed. Perhaps, therefore, a later date could be chosen. The 25th of June 1950 is the start of the Korean War, and therefore could be a nice ending date for Hearts of Iron 4, when another significant war starts. I personally can't think of any other significant end dates for Hearts of Iron 4 after the Korean War, but let me know if you can think of any in the comments. If you do, however, want to have a significant campaign after 1949 instead of playing on with no significant events or research trees, then the Hearts of Iron 4 Cold War mod is always a good choice, with it being one of the most popular mods in the game. There's even a United Nations mechanic and the ability to use chemical weapons in warfare. What do you guys think of the end date of Hearts of Iron 4 though? Are you happy where Hearts of Iron 4 ends? Or do you think another start date should be chosen that's either historically significant 
or enhances the gameplay, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye for now. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably, Charlie Demorel, Prilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadowsea. The support means a lot, guys. Once you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.